Greetings. I want to speak to you concerning the most powerful creative force, which are actually your words. And most people fail to realize how powerful their words are because people do not know that it is actually their thoughts that is creating their reality and creating their personality. Now, you need to know what is a word. A word is actually a thought expressed. And a thought is actually a vibrational frequency. So, even as I'm speaking to you, I am vibrating on a certain frequency. And I'm emitting out to you energy. Because everything is energy, vibration, and frequency. And we are mass of energy. That's the reason why you're told that your words will never ever return unto you void but you must accomplish that which you send it to and prosper anything where to you send it because your word is actually your one because you are a magician and you're creating magic by the things you believe because the things that you believe would mean the things that you will confess it means the things that you will focus upon, the things that you will concentrate upon. And the good news is that we become what we think about most of the time. So what do you say to yourself most of the day? What do you look at most of the day? What do you listen to most of the day? What is it that you allow to impress upon your subconscious mind most of the day? Because that is what would definitely create your outer experiences. So my brother, my sisters, when you are told in the Bible that the power of life and death is in the tongue, it is because the Bible is actually a book of mind science and must be understood psychologically. And that is why you are told as a man thinketh in his heart that his subconscious mind, so is he. And also, you've been told that for you to transform your life, there's only one way. And that only way is by the renewing of your mind. And if you're going to renew your mind, you're going to have inner conversation. So you're always in dialect. You're always in conversation. And that is why you need to understand that your word is your wand. That's why you need to understand how powerful words are. So, when I speak about the word of God, you have to know that the mind of man is the mouth of God. And the mouth of God is actually the mind of man. So you are shown the way towards how to harness your power. The most creative force upon this earth are your spoken words that is why saint john one and one it tells you that in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was in the beginning with god he's saying to you everything start with a thought and he's saying to you also because it goes on to say uh, uh let me just quote it again he say it in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. He said, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. You see, most people believe that him is speaking of a man who existed 2,000 years ago. No, that's not the truth. You see, that's a personification that represents the human imagination, teaching you that everything that was made, it was first a thought, it was first an idea, and it was first imagined. So, this invisible force or this invisible power that we are using we draw upon it based on our thoughts and our actions and our words are the expression of what we have been drawing upon so everything is an expression of yourself so every one of us are actually naked in this world and nothing is hidden so you cannot fool yourself and that is why you need to know that the Bible is actually a book of magic. I want to speak about magic, showing you that you have the ability 
to call those things that be not as though they are. You have the ability to decree a thing and it shall come to pass in your life. You have the power to understand what it really means when it says that the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It is teaching you that there is a side of you that is unseen and a side of you that is seen. Therefore, when you draw upon that which is the unseen or the invisible, that you can take it and you can transmute it into the visible. But by but it works by thoughts. It works by the power of the mind. That is why if you do not understand by now that the Bible is actually a book of mind science. And it addresses the human mind and should be interpreted psychologically. You will actually use your mentality to try to disagree with me. You will use your own mentality to try to have an argument with me. I'm speaking from experience because I've had many, many, many encounters with people who still believe in secular Christianity. That's pointing them to look outwardly and to believe in a God outside of themselves. That's why they do not know that they are magicians because they do not know their God self. They do not know their higher self. They do not know that the kingdom of God is within. So instead of them looking within themselves to discover the phenomena of life and to discover the way, the truth, and the life, they're looking on the outside for another life. And so because of that, it keeps them in a place whereby they are creating certain things in their life, but they are doing it unconsciously. And so they are not responsible for their words. They do not hold themselves responsible for the, 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 the spells that they cast from the mouth because they do not know words are spells. That's why in school they, they would have what we call spelling. Okay? And so in school you've been taught to that certain words they, they hold what they call vowels. Okay? It's a vowel. And you are the L. You are God. Okay? And you have a vocal card also. Okay? And you, you, you have what they, they refer to as a vocabulary. And it is your words that form like sentences and so on. And from sentences you move into paragraphs and, and then you can move into a book and, and so on. And you, you get the whole idea of language. Okay? And even your action is a language. Okay, whether it's been done symbolically or, it, it's, or if it's been done verbally, it's still a language and it all came from thought. Okay, which is actually first starts with some burning desire that you would have within yourself. So, my brother and my sisters, I just want you to understand the power of your word and know that your word is your wand. There's a popular uh, writer who wrote a book, a woman, her name is uh, Florence Schobel Shen, I think, okay, called Your Word is Your Wand. Because it is definitely so, okay, that your words are your most powerful uh, tool or uh, instrument or uh, force that you can use because it's like let me put it this way it's like if you take a stone and you throw it in in a river or a lake you see it make all of these different waves okay and it's the same thing when you speak your word because why that is happening with the water because of the vibration when the stone hits the water create this vibration and so as i said before everything that we say and everything that we do it all comes from vibration you have to understand the power of vibration so many people are vibrating their thoughts out into the ether out into the universe and they are reaping what they sow so you have to be responsible for what you are sowing from your mouth and so when we look at people who are trapped in secular christianity it's all about doubt fear guilt shame and condemnation and that's that's because of the kind of mentality they have but i'm saying to you that you can do better by looking inwardly and hold yourself responsible for your thoughts and your action and realize that your greatest enemy is yourself and your greatest friend also is yourself so there's no one to change but your so don't try to change the world. Don't try to change the system. That's what I mean when I say don't try to change the world. Don't try to change the system. But change yourself because you have the power to change yourself. And when you change yourself, you can help others. You'll be a good influence in this world. So from now on, hold yourself responsible for your words because your words are your wand. Okay? And you're a magician. 
So with that being said, my brother, my sister, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if this is the very, very first time that you're listening to me and what I'm saying, if it makes sense to you and if it really resonates with you and you have a subscribe already, I'm definitely encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. You wouldn't know how much I, lo I am longing to see these videos go as viral as possible because my whole motive is to reach as much people as possible to help them because I know what it was like for me when I was kept in captivity having a secular Christianity mentality that was pointing me to look outwardly. Also, if you like to follow me on Instagram and you like to follow me on TikTok, I'll definitely encourage you to follow me at Black Mad Guru. And if you feel strongly to support this work, I just want to remind you that there's a PayPal and the link is down below. So follow your intuition. Also, if your intuition is leading you to be a part of our Patreon community and support this work continually because you believe that we are doing a great work and a great service to humanity, I'll definitely encourage you to do so. And I have a $20 course there also that's called the Inner Sun Science and Technology to create your reality consciously. And it's all about you discovering that sun that is within you, that power that is within you. And that power that is within you is the power of the sun that is within you, that melanin sun that is within you. And as you can see, whatever the sun vibrates upon, whatever the sun shines upon, it always brings forth bountifully. And when you're in alignment with the sun, your life will definitely bring forth bountifully. And you would know that your world is definitely your wand and you hold yourself more responsible for everything that you say and do in this world. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.